Hey guys, and welcome to the patch notes for the 11th of July 2018 patch. So in this patch, there's a few brand new features and a lot of bug and issue fixes. So the biggest new feature that everyone's talking about is the tag system, which allows you to switch two characters on the same account, uh, have their locations, not switch, but bring the second character to the first character's location. It'll go more in depth below in the patch notes, but this is probably the biggest thing in this patch. Apart from that, uh, pretty much all the events are still ongoing except for Black Spirit's Adventure. The character tag system has been added, so you need to have at least one character in your family at level 56 or above. You can set it uh, via the tag characters button on the left hand side of your game display next to the camping tool icon. The character you are currently logged into will be the primary character, and the character you are tagging in with will be the tagged character. So if you left click the button, the tag setting window will become activated. If you right click, you will switch characters. You can only tag or untag characters in towns, exclude Kusha, Abun, and Muikun. To link two characters to the tag function, both characters must be in the same town. You can switch from your tag character to your primary character anywhere. However, you cannot switch characters in the desert or in the great ocean. So no uh, switching while fighting for your spot at Pilaku, for example. You cannot switch characters during Node or Conquest War. After switching characters by tagging, there will be a cooldown of 5 minutes. However, you can still change characters by the character selection window. It also shares the same cooldown as Emergency Escape and applies to both the primary character and the tagged character. There is also a 5 minute cooldown for character tagging after changing characters or servers. You cannot buy or sell trade items with the tagged character. The character also cannot move trade items to or from mount inventories or storage, so you cannot use this as a sort of ghetto command to gather. There's been a few small changes to the world boss. You can now attack monsters in safe zones and use the battle arena when a world boss has appeared, so you won't be kicked out anymore. And the other big thing in this patch for North American players is global lab testing. So Pearl Abyss has apparently listened to feedback and decided to open a global lab to help provide better service when new content will be tested before being released to live clients. So this is a test server. We are going to be able to test brand new content that isn't available yet on live and give feedback. Whether or not that feedback will be taken into account is unknown. However, this should help balance new things of the game such as Renown uh, before they hit live servers. So it'll be open at 6 a.m. UTC or 11 p.m. PDT uh, on July 11th and more content and details will be announced by the official Global Lab Testing website. Link, available, link will become available tomorrow with the launch. So. Apart from that, there's not too many other big changes this patch. However, there are a ton of issue fixes. Uh, all these are issue fixes. Mounts have received a few small changes, but uh, it's mostly just to gear for the mount, and it's a lot for the Aferia Frigate. Uh, class changes, nothing too big this week. Musa and Mewa did get an interesting change, though. Musa and Mewa, the arrow grapple skill, has been reworked. So. Arrow grapple skills will now give an extra hit on the opponent after a certain distance after a successful stub arrow hit. They will also allow you to get closer to the opponent to attack, um, and the motions and animations have been made better. So to reflect these changes, ultimate arrow grapples now have been changed to arrow grapple 3. And these are the brand new damages. And yeah, so it will be remaining to be seen how that works in changing Musa's and Mewa's combos, but it should be interesting to at least have a new tool in the kit. From that, none of the other characters really received big changes this week. Following up, there are some new summon scrolls. Awakened Manjom Chief, King of Navarne Steep, Forest Ronoros, and Giffen Razia Raid Captain summon scrolls have been added to the game for Kama Sylvia region boss scrolls. And there's not really too many other big changes this week. Um, there are some changes to the Calpheon, Balanus, and Serendia elites, so violent, critical, sturdy monsters, where they now drop Prognal Silver Bars, which might make Sonal Garrison worth farming again, as that used to be a fairly good place for newer players to farm for a decent amount of silver per hour. Rare monsters have also been added to the following regions, so Karanda Ridge, Mascal Forest, Quintil, Manshaw Forest, Bastion Base, and the Southern Neutral Zone, which hopefully makes Calpheon a slightly better place to farm for brand new adventurers. Um, not sure if it will have a big change on anyone that can already farm in Medea, but at least they are trying to revamp those zones a little bit, as they are very nice zones to visit. And there's a lot of new quests as well, so people that like questing, 
ton of new quests to the Commissalia region. Uh, only available once per family, however. So, a bunch of those. You can get uh, a boss or awakened boss summon scroll piece as a reward for following these quests. And a few new knowledge things. But yeah, so this patch is actually pretty huge in terms of giving us uh, things we've been asking for for a while, as well as finally getting the tag system. Uh, the global test server is pretty huge, even if it's only available in North America for now. Hopefully, Pearl Abyss will listen to feedback given on the server, and we can have more balanced patches going forward. But uh, it will remain to be seen just how it's implemented. However, we'll see pretty soon, so yeah. High hopes, uh, but not much else going on in this patch. Tag character system is interesting, but doesn't have a huge effect on the game itself. And apart from a few new quests and a lot of issues being fixed, uh, there's not too, ma too many interesting changes this patch. Anyways guys, these are the patch notes for the 11th of July 2018 patch. Uh, subscribe if you liked it, hope it helped, and as always, have a good one.